Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Uh, so yeah, last time we built this. The all ASUS ROG asterisk, because there's not really that much ASUS ROG gear in this game. But hey, we did as close as we could. Um, so we built this computer, trying to go for an all ASUS ROG theme. And I got a comment from Armando Wessels, who I, I, I don't know if, if you work um, at the studio that produces PC Building Simulator, but he seemed me he was informed about this case, and he said, in the real case, this little reservoir up front does work, which is awesome and very cool. Because yeah, in the last video, I kind of showed that there's actually a reservoir up here, and it should totally work. But he said, in real life, it does work, but it was really difficult in this game to get it working. He said the same thing about the VRM... Um, water cooling to actually plumb to that and everything is something they haven't figured out yet. So maybe someday, which would be super awesome. Um, he also said they're working on this, the radiator, the RGB radiator fan bug that we see there. We also see it on this build. Um, so yeah, they're working on that, which is great because it's kind of ruining my themes a lot. So anyway, um, but today we are going to go away from the high end and we're going to build something a little more budget friendly. So I got a comment from Yasin Menz, Yasin Menz, um, saying, make a budget PC next, like a GT 1030 and a Ryzen 3 2200G and a Vega 8. So uh, I love that idea. That's an awesome idea. And so what what Yasin, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. What he's getting at, he, she, what he, she is getting at here is that uh, AMD made a processor called the 2200G, they also have the 2400G, but it's awesome because it's an APU, and so it includes um, a CPU, but it also includes graphics on the same on the same chip, um, which is great because it means like you can build a, a PC with the 2200G or 2400G, you can plug it into a monitor and it'll work. You could play basic games at like low settings, like you probably play Fortnite at like 1080p, lowest settings and get like passable frame rate. But it's cool because you wouldn't need a graphics card. Um, most of Intel CPUs, like their their desktop CPUs, they don't they don't have integrated graphics. You need a graphics card for a lot of them. So yeah, so it's really cool. But you can what's nice is you can add a graphics card to it at any point when you want to have that gaming performance, that graphics performance. Um, so yeah, super cool. I want to build that build. The problem is PC Building Simulator doesn't have any of AMD's APUs. So kind of the lowest they go on the Ryzen side is the 1300, the Ryzen 3 1300. Um, no, no APUs. So that's sad, sad day. Um, but we're gonna do a budget build anyway. That was a lot of talking this morning video, by the, by the way, sorry about that. Um, just lots of things to set up. So yeah, um, but we're gonna do a budget build. And so I poked around at cases a little bit. And honestly, I don't even know. I don't know the prices and it's kind of pokey to look at cases that are slow. It, it's, hard, it's slow to look at cases and figure out their prices. So I just kind of found one that I liked and I haven't built in. And it seems like a reasonable, eh, kind of a reasonable budget case. It's, it's more expensive than it should be. Uh, and I can't find it, but I will find it. And then we'll, we'll, start, we'll start building it. Okay, here it is. The Antec P110 Luce, Luce, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's probably still a little too high end, but I thought it looked kind of interesting. And it's kind of funny because it, cable management VGA card holder. What, what is that even, VGA card holder? Oh, it has vertical mount. Maybe we'll do our vertical mount finally, since we, we failed that in the last build. So this is going to be a budget build using the Ryzen 3 1300. Ah, more labeling. Thank you for telling me this is a 2.5 inch SSD unit, Antec. Thank you. Appreciate the extra clarity. So I'm gonna try to make this reasonable. The case is unfortunately $85, which is probably more than you'd spend on a case in this situation. So let's just ignore that part. Let's ignore that part. Uh, and other than that, yeah, we're gonna go for budget build. Now this is hard because this game's not super tailored to budget parts, um, but there's some, and I can't see prices. So once I pick the part, 
then we see the price. And I don't know. For the sake of not making you guys watch me swap out parts 800 times, yeah, we're probably going to stick with some stuff. Um, Alright, let's get going here. <sighs> so, obviously the cheapest, lowest end boards are going to be these more Tonys. A320 chipset. B450, B350. Yeah, there's just not... You get to the high end really quickly. So we're obviously looking at AM4 because we're going to be doing a Ryzen chipset here. Um, I don't really want to put a mini ITX motherboard in this because it's just going to look sort of darky. Maybe we could do this Tomahawk board. It's probably going to be too expensive. How much? Uh, 150 It's not horrible. It's a little pricey. This is going to be like a... Hmm. It looks good, though. I'm gonna stick with it just because I don't love my other options, so. Alright, we're gonna do some fairly basic RAM. Maybe we'll do. Ripjaws is really good Ryzen RAM, IRL. Um, I guess we could do. We could do 8 gigs or we could do 16. 16 is a little high end. Maybe we'll stick with 8. How much is it? $110 for one stick? Holy cow. RAM prices are as high in this game as they were six months ago. Alright, well, I don't even remember if the first, I think the first slot, I don't know, I don't, I don't have the motherboard manual on hand here, but I feel like the first slot isn't the actual correct slot. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna go for the second slot. I don't know. I don't, I don't. But I am gonna stick with Ryzen. Or, I'm gonna stick with Ripjaws. Because that is good stuff. Okay. So we're gonna go 8 gigs of RAM. I feel bad the motherboard's so expensive. But that's alright. Pretend with me. Alright, Ryzen 3, 1200. So, still quad core though. Not a bad chip. We're going to do a fairly basic air cooler. Um, fortunately, you can get really good air coolers for no money. Um, I, I Hopefully in this game, but definitely in real life. Ah, oh, the Be Quiet Pure Rock is nice. We don't even need that. Shadow Rock Slim. I don't know. These are going to be expensive, though. As much as I like them. Ooh, Cooler Master Master Air Pro 4. Right? That's got to be pretty cheap. How much? 50 bucks. Eh, it's a little steep. But we're going with it. I was thinking $20. You can get some great air coolers in real life with a... Uh, for, like, for like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay. We've got two more Tony Heataway 120s included in the case um let's see let's just throw a power spawn here quick we are not gonna need much cooler master 500 bronze that'll be fine how much is that 55 dollars better okay cool um since this is a budget build i think i'm gonna go with traditional storage I mean, um, traditional hard drive, so. How do these even work? Uh, actually, I think I want to mount it behind it, though. I don't really like to see it. Put it back here. We have just a main drive for now. It can always expand later. So, we need to find probably. We can probably do a couple. I mean, you'd be okay with this many case fans. Um, this build's not going to get super hot, especially because we're going to go with... We can really go with a pretty low-end graphics card, I guess. So, yeah, we can go to 1030. Um, I know that's what... What the what we were requested to put in here was a GT 1030. I kind of think the GT 1030 is like a pointless, worthless card. Because it's just... It's so, so low-end. Um... But, yeah, I mean, we could definitely do it, you know? 
Can we put the vertical out? That's so hilarious. Oh man, wait. So if I remove this, wait. Let me remove other things. Dude, a vertical mount GP GT1030 is like the best thing ever, actually. Oh, it's it's like putting a hood, hood scoop on your like Honda Civic. I love it. It actually, because it's a single slot card, it actually has air, or it actually has room to like pull air through the card, being that close to the glass. That's actually kind of funny, and so I'm just gonna embrace it because it's so silly. We're doing it. Love it. Show off that GT1030 to the world. Nope. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll put that back. I don't know. How much is the GT1030? Uh, $75. Woo! Show it off. Let the world know that that, that PCIe riser probably cost about as much as this graphics card. Except not in this game, but in real life. Kind of. I mean, honestly, I think if this was the build, I would probably just leave the fans. You really don't need to add more fans. This would be plenty, be enough intake. This fan's gonna pull. I mean, if you were gonna really try to leave, like keep the budget low, this is probably right where I'd leave it. Just put that filter back on. And again, like what's nice, what's nice about building PCs, and once you do it yourself and you're, you're familiar is, this can really scale as much as you want it. Um, like in this case, like with this this computer, like it's a pretty capable motherboard. The B the B450 is a pretty nice chipset, and so if you decided on a line that you wanted to put a nicer Ryzen CPU in it, you could. You can even do I I'm guessing I think you can do like a second gen Ryzen even in this. B450 would support it. I don't know. Um, and obviously the graphics card can can upgrade. We could throw some solid state storage in it. I mean, that's the cool thing. It's like you if this was your starting point cool like if this is what gets you into pc gaming and like this is what's affordable and and works then awesome and then you can go from here and you can build something different i mean you can build a new system or you can just keep kind of working off this one so i gotta say for being such a low-end system i like how it looks this is amazing i mean this is amazing but like it's actually a cool case and it's a clean like just simple simple like system I, I i like it so um apparently my os did not take good i mean i guess we don't really need to watch it it's not that interesting i just i install an os and you know things happen and it, that's it so um there you go that is a budget pc 765 dollars definitely could have got that cheaper um i've built cheaper systems like i built like if you guys go back and look at my my pc sim pc building simulator videos i did one of like the slowest computer you can build i think it is also the cheapest computer you can build so if you really want cheap there you go but i would probably do this instead and and honestly if this was me i wouldn't do a gd 1030 i'd probably do like a 1050 ti or a 1060 or um honestly like in real life you can get like an rx 580 for really cheap considering how how beefy that card is so you know even that could be a different con decent consideration but um yeah there it is so there it is that's the uh entry level sort of budget pc uh ryzen 3 1200 and a gt 1030 hope you guys enjoyed hope you found it interesting if you did be sure to subscribe and anyone who if you guys are subscribed already thank you again so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. See ya.